Hello. I don't have a watch or a driver's license. <laughs> My name is Molly Johnson. Let's take a minute together. Let's look around. Look around. Right in this room. The faces that surround you. That's right. Some of them you know. Some of them you don't. But all of us in this room are here because we're standing on the shoulders of someone before us. A teacher, a parent, a mentor, maybe your first job, your first crack at something you really love doing. All of us are here tonight because of our privilege, because of who came before us, because of whose shoulders we stand on. The shoulders I stand on are broad and strong, full of history and courage and love. How about you? Whose shoulders are you standing on? When I look back on my privilege and think of my formative years, I go back to the Cameron Public House on Queen Street here in Toronto. As a creative, a collection of artists as creative as I think have ever been assembled in this country, so many shoulders to stand on. Speaking of these shoulders, one of the best pieces of advice I ever received was from a dear friend who put a bag of quarters on a table at the bar, pointed at the jukebox and said, Molly, if you learn these jazz standards off this jukebox, you'll stop cleaning toilets at the Cameron. <laughs> so I still clean toilets, but they're mine, toilets. <laughs> And uh, although I've been writing and performing songs for years, it was that kind of a master class that I needed. And shortly after I began to sing those jazz standards in the back room of the Cameron uh, decades ago, ever since, people have told me I'm just like Billie Holiday and uh, that I should make a Billie Holiday record. And I would say, are you kidding me? I'm nothing like Billie. I'm because of Billy and her generation. It's only now that I felt I could make a Billy record, a piece of work that is because of Billy and her generation. The generation of the civil rights movement, of my American parents' generation. My parents were black and white. I like to call myself Obama black. <laughs> It was the 1950s in the United States of America, and they were married at a time when being married was illegal in some parts of the U.S. Theirs was a lesson of love and courage and hope, a look to the future and how bright it can be. So I stand on the shoulders of that generation, the generation of some who gave their lives for my privilege, for the freedom I enjoy each and every day. I'm honor-bound to that idea. So a Billy record for me was only going to happen when I could honor that sacrifice, when I could make a piece of work that is about recognition for those that came before me, to celebrate the generation that made me what I am, that came from the place of strength and beauty of people like my parents. Only now was I ready to make that kind of a record, and I would only make it because of Billy, not just about Billy, about my parents, about the sacrifice. That's the kind of record I had to make. Billy wrote a handful of songs in her day when women were not encouraged to write. If they did write more than a few songs, they might use their husband's name. Billie Holiday was outspoken and fearless. She spoke her truth. Them does God shall get. Them does not will lose. So the Bible says... And it still is no I didn't want to make a sad Billie Holiday record all about hardship. I wanted a homage to strength and courage, a thank you to Lady Day. Too many have portrayed her only as a victim. That's not what I chose to see. She's a victim of the times, absolutely. But she was no victim. It's inspiring to me to tell the Billie story not just the story of the oh-so-glamorous tales of drug abuse, but the story of what she did within the civil rights movement to shine a light not just on what she tried to stand for, 
but more importantly, what she would not stand for. Yes, there's no way to look at Billie Holiday's life and say it was easy or anywhere close to nice. When you're jailed at 14 for prostitution with your mother, it's safe to say you didn't have much of a childhood. Knowing this history and wanting to make a Billie Holiday record, I decided to find a particular piece of charity that would work with that. So in any town or city where I show, I can fundraise for that community. I chose the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. This is a group that works with the most troubling time of most working parents, that time between three and six. What do you do with your kids? Well, here's a homework club. Here's a place to uh, play sports and work, giving kids a better chance. So in closing, i got to ask you this. Is today, today you dig in, you find something you're passionate about, something you can share, something you have because of those that came before you? Can you share your knowledge? Can you share your wealth? Can you share your experience? Can you inspire as you stand on the shoulders of those before? And more importantly, be the shoulders for others to stand on. My because is a Billy in that generation. I'm because of all of what came before me. What's your because? <laughs> it may be time to stick your neck out for something you believe in, if not every day, at least once or twice, in what I hope will be a very long and very generous life. Thank you. Thank you.